Hello, and today I'm just going to go into the basics of WordPress theme development. Now, um, a couple of people have asked me to do videos on this before, and I've done a video showing about the meta information for the style sheet before, but in this video I wanted to go more into depth and just show you examples of what all the files are going to look like and how it all comes together. So I've, I've just basically got my personal site theme here which I custom developed and I'm still developing. So I'm just going to show all the files and kind of every single file and kind of go through what each one of them does. Um, first off, I want to talk about the basic concepts. The idea is that you include everything on its own page. So, everything is in a separate file. Again, you'll see all this when I actually get, get into showing you the theme, but it's important you first understand that key concept. So, let's dive in. I want to note that the conditional style sheets um, and the IUI folder are not necessary for a WordPress theme, um, but all the rest of this stuff is. Um, I think a logical place to start would be the style.css file, since um, that's what I should before, and it contains all the meta information to actually make it a WordPress theme. It's not a WordPress theme without this information in the style.css file. So, if we just wait for it to open up, and I've got no idea why it's being so slow. Okay, so we've got this commenting section that's kind of like um, when you have it on Drupal, except it's um, a commented area in the style.css file. So, this is what makes it a, a, a WordPress theme. This commented block at the top with all this data in it. So, we've got theme name, my personal WordPress theme. Theme URL, which is the link, uh, the description, the version, the author, and the author URL. Um, so that's basically what you need to get something to be a WordPress theme. Now, let's look at what gets loaded next. You'd think the index PHP file gets loaded. Um, well, if we look at this thing, there's some HTML divs, but there's, in comparison to Drupal, there's actually no header information in here. And when I first looked at this, this really confused me. But the get header function at, in PHP actually grabs or includes everything from the um includes everything from the header dot php file so if i just open up the header dot php file we notice that we've got a lot more familiar stuff we've got a doc type we've got the html declaration and then it simply prints what language it is we've got all this st stuff for the title that resolves the, d the different possibilities we've got some meta information that just prints out a bunch of stuff this is where we've got our style sheet links um, the default one basically pinged 
your style sheet URL and that will automatically insert the style.css file that makes the theme um, and then I, I've just got a bunch of custom stuff a print CSS file and all this is for Google Analytics but if we scroll down we've got sorry guys if we scroll down we've got a, a wrapper div and inside that we've got a header now the this wrapper everything the everything that is in that index dot php file that i was showing you in a minute ago in this index dot php file is actually wrapped in that wrapper because it basically inserts everything that's in the header dot php file before it spits out all of this so the get header is getting all the data from the header dot php file similarly the get sidebar and the get footer and and we've, we've just got a bunch of other stuff like I'll just show you the footer dot php it um this is all my custom footer HTML that doesn't use many WordPress functions because I've actually just um I've actually just ended this dynamically. Notice that I'm closing the div in my footer that I started in the header uh, dot PHP. So I'm basically just closing the um this wrapper div here and then because I want everything in the footer to be outside of the wrapper div I begin my footer and the only things I've got are a dynamic list pages function uh, to basically pull out all the pages for the nav which is really useful and then I do some custom styling and then I've got this PHP function WP footer just to finish everything off. Um if you need to d find this out just go to the template tags and then I've got a 404 dot which here and a custom search form and that's just HTML that gets included with this PHP include and then the um, title that's how you can include any file I've just done that out outside of um, I'm not actually using the WordPress include function because it's just easy for me to include it like that um, but it's using the same concept and we've got different ideas for a single post we've got again in this div in this class of posts we've got all these arrays but I just want to show you what um one of these guys looks like because um if you use wordpress you'll notice that it has a page template function so the way i would create a new template i a new type of page is i would um make a new file that was page and then whatever dash whatever my page name was uh, dot php and then it would generate a new file 
which I could just go open a comment I can't I don't know how to do comments in PHP um, but basically just comment it and say template name and obviously we've got the sidebar and that and that just includes the sidebar like everything else and um I just want to mention before I wrap this up that um I got this from the Starkest theme because it just gives you all the raw HTML um that you need and I I've just customize this for my liking and and there's going to be some things that you are going to want to change with it but just search for Starker's WordPress theme Google and they give you some C CSS styles by default but I've bl blown all those away and changed the PHP files and also changed the meta information for the theme so that's what I would recommend doing but it's certainly a nice way to get started um so that was basically going through all the files and the basic concepts of a wordpress theme thank you for watching and i hope this helped you if you've liked it please subscribe